the Royal Welsh Show now, which is taking place in Llan Elwedd. Applause for the 25th Woman Farmer of the Year. Katie is a partner in the family hill farm business and a passionate promoter of Welsh lamb. It's just an honour really to, to win and there's so many inspiring women that have come before me and won this award. But away from the main ring, there is no doubt what has dominated the agenda. At the heart of it is tree planting. They want sequestration. That is not necessarily trees, that is grassland, hedgerows, that's innovation, and it's here in Wales and it's ready to go. If the NFU wanted to put this front and centre, they've certainly managed that. This time last year we were paying 264 a ton and then uh, now 379 pounds a ton. Do you think you're making money on your eggs at the moment? No, then? definitely not. I'm going to dip in over there because I'm going to get in and get out of the house and get out of the house and get out of the house. The decision our farmers are making at the minute is do they lose a thousand pounds a day by continuing doing what they're doing or do they just completely empty those sheds, shut down, but potentially they'd be losing less money than if they were paying for birds to be in there? Ar ddiwedd y dydd, mae beth gennym ni yma, mae ys cenedlaethol, ys cenedlaethau, a dynnu'n eisiau golli, a dynnu'n eisiau gweithio hefo'n gilydd i allt ond. Mae mor bwysig bod y cynllun yn cario ymlaen, achos mae'r gwaith arbennig yn cael ei wneud dros, wel, dros gynghau, ffermwyr o mewn i dros dri deg mewn e. Fel ffermwyr, chyma cynnyrch chi fwyd i'r job cyntaf ni fe. Hefyd, chyma ni yn mwyn gofalu ar ôl am y gylchedd, am am y gylchedd, pysiau yn pwysig un cymni. There's a warning that dairy farmers in Wales need more support. The union NFU Cymru says the price of milk has dropped by about 30% this year. I mean, I'm not. I'm a lot of gossip in the company that the primary producers have been back so, but a lot of lot of them in the issue need it, and they need it for their need it. A survey of more than 500 Welsh farmers has been published. It shows that a whopping 85% of those who have cattle herds with bovine TB say it's impacting on their mental health. We had two cows that had calved on Monday and they were shot on Tuesday. Uh, so it's quite hard to see really. I feel like nobody's helping at the moment. It's, it's, it's a battle. You're battling with yourself to find the motivation to get up in the morning because you know, you're, you're seeing these things going on. Unfortunately here in Wales, we aren't using all the tools in the box and uh, I think that's the biggest frustration, particularly for farmers. The strain that it is having on farmers, their families, their teams, our vets, is absolutely enormous. Oedd cael yr concession yma'r sicr chi, ond ydych chi'n ddim bod yn concession yr oedd mi o'n ddiffygion yn yr rheol yn y lle cyntaf. If we look at the, the agricultural budget as a whole, over the last 10 years it hasn't increased, it's felt the effect of inflation. Well, right now, over in the Senedd, there is a celebration of Welsh food and farming. Every single Senedd member has been invited to this. The whole thing was a completely sort of fascinating experience, you know, I, I must say, you know. I thought I knew about Hill Farms, you know, I knew next to nothing, and it was a really privilege to, uh, to, to get involved. A, a bit of my heart will always be in, uh, in, in, in dog like. You don't just have to be born on a farm to get involved in farming. There's huge opportunities everywhere along the supply chain and we really want to encourage youngsters from all parts of Wales to get involved in the industry. Well, with Nos Dweitha, cafodd miloedd o ddisgyblion ar draws Cymru wers bwyd a ffermio ar lein byw. Dewch chi'n ei glywed mwy. 
Fel rhan o wythnos dathlu bwyd a ffermio Cymru, cafodd gwers ffermio i ffrydio ar lein y cyntaf i fath yn Cymru. Mae'n bwysig achos mae'n dda i plant cael gweld lle mae bwyd yn dod o. 